clock has been done ticking. It's a huge song instead. Wow. With a real squishy backline to target, Dale has opted for a huge song for lane prowess? For dive, come out later when you're in relative safety. Means that if they're trying to zone people away, like right now, they can do a lot of damage. Black Dragon from the Glooms as well. Over to Taz now. Gets out with the Guiding Wind, but Lanaya is on it. Taz, death to his welcome late. Minion Fury as well, but Lanaya secures it with a retribution. Taz gonna be taking low K's. Also taken down. A good petrifying of Furious Dive on Tarek as he gets sliced and diced by Dixon and Lanaya. Two Ooh. for two as of right now, and Brazer's Wrath to get down on Pi, but. He's able to stay up, holding onto the turtle. Brody already in the mid lane, wants to participate in this team fight as a Black Dragon form gets popped in. Case doing some damage. The Glooms as well. Retry battle. Taz wins it. Gets the guiding win to safety, but gets engaged on. That's an appraiser's wrath. The Furious dive. Everything. And a kitchen sink thrown at him. Nino just clearing out the mid lane. So not participating in the fights. Not yet. 0 1 trade in for Dewa United. Ooh. Alter Ego picking it up. Ooh. Yo, yo, man. Pi yeah. picks up a kill. So Hold on to Dreon. Uses ultimate already. Lanaya now jumping out of the wreck. Give him the shot some damage. But Denton is welcome. Will be used by Taz now. Black Dragon form comes in as well. Taz getting the guiding win. No Denton is welcome to contest, but Lanaya is so, so low. Pi dealing some damage. Now taunted up. Knocked up. Good purify from Pi. Did this engage again. And Alter Ego take control. Lanaya super low. Get some healing from Dreon on that Minotaur. Walking back up with a taunt and a dash. That's Rian with a flicker over to Taz, but the guiding win is there. Still going to be canceled out of three man. But Taz oh. still gets it despite the appraiser's wrath. A big fight ensues now as it's a flicker forward and a torn apart memory from Nino. We reset once again. But for Dewa, if they want to go and trade some damage, get some poke in. Oh, there's healing, but look at that Dixon. Tied up already with Dixon now. Oh, just deleted. Minus Fury catching three, though. Taz very low. Watson with some damage now with the Lycan form. Out to Taz. But Taz still stays focused on the Lord. Gets it. Watt is not dealing enough damage, and he gets obliterated by Nino. A triple kill for the man who had a win chant early. That's nearly a wiped out, Arashi. Four for zero. They get the turtle, they, they get... And if you look at their composition, they're not designed for this. All three go, they might just force force a fight, brute force it. Mm-hmm, Kaze gets brought back all the way, forced to use black shoes every single fight before the fight even ensues. They're able to bait away the black shoes and take it out of Dewa's resource pool. They're still pushing. The Lord in the bottom side going to be able to take that inhibitor turret as well. The Lord pushing in, Taz. Looking for an opening. 13 minutes, forcing a desperate. Oh my god, Dixon almost just got shot down from the air. A big chop from Taz, not throwing Lanaya back to the team as Nino deals damage in the back. And the Brazier's back, putting in a little bit of HP as Dixon jabs in with the Furious Dive and the Petrify. But Nino, again, is so sustainable. Pi, once again, dashing in. Rex trying to give the opportunity for the rest of the team to go for the base for the minion. Hey, it has been cleared out. While with Lycan 4, gets shot down again. Nino Hi. is on a roll, and the Yo Yo Man is too. Sir Pi diving in the base, locking Dixon down and forcing him to stay in the base, to stay in the fountain. Alter Ego in a dominant fashion take game one. They strike first, ladies and gentlemen. What a performance. And leave it to Pi to make something like the CC work without the Angela. Without a vengeance too. Exactly. It's almost like he doesn't have mobility. Exactly. No Brock, no Arlet, no Tigreal? Minotaur though. Ruby. Ah. Ruby. I don't know. Mirko is not a fan. I hate Ruby now. I used to... Actually, I hated Ruby for a while. <laughs> Whoa, okay. <laughs> Number Strong one Ruby sentiments. hater. Who hurt you? Ruby. <laughs> 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 Strong sentiments from Mirko right here towards the Ruby. Advantage. And so far, it's it's kind of business as usual. And they are the ones who have to try and make something happen. Two men I'm offended, but it is Taz, a big dino. Lanaya jumps onto him, gets punished by the Eternal Guard. He still has the Deathless Welcome too. He might just use it now, but he doesn't even need it against Lanaya. He just stomps him to the ground. First blood, K's even forced to flick around. And what a menace, the dino. Angela up top, so global presence. But this kind of skirmish, who has the advantage? This kind of skirmish, in theory, it should be Dewa. Unless, of course, they don't have enough damage to deal with Taz. He's alone right now, though. No, oh, that's just welcome to cancel out Eternal Guard. Knock up, Pine jumps in with the Bravest oh. Fighter. That was a good knock up as well from Cry with the Eternal Guard. Taz looking to go for the Retribution. Lanaya as well. Taz outclassing Lanaya every step of the way. And even Pine gets out. Six 
Jason unable to chase him down. No one dies from Alter Ego. There are no trades for Dewa. Oh. He's somewhat ability based due to the nature of the Roger using abilities, but look at that. Eternal Guard on the Dreon, you know, to get a whole lot of damage. Also getting pulled back, he doesn't have the pure but he has the Blazing Duet. Pops it in, gets the Brave Smite prop, and Taz now in a midst of it all, getting the Immobilized Pi. Dealing so much oh. damage with the Bravest Fighter and a big chomp down. A good stun from Pi to stop Lemnaya on his movement, and Kaze also falls right after getting spat back to the wall and stomped on by Mr. Taz Dino Man. It's so... Un and having a hard guard of their own, but it's just not allowed to be given. Now again, 50-50. The tone is welcome. Nino can tread him down and so... Oh my god, he does! Lanaya is gone! And just like that, it's a free Lord over to Alter Ego. Oh. Nino wants to go for more, though. Jobs him with a Blazing. No, not even a Blazing. But he just guns him down with the Battle Mirror image. He gets close and Rek ties him up. And Rek even takes the kill. Anyways. Now for Dewa United, they're going to be stuck trying to make a play happen. A desperate play at that, plays into it now from Nino as he jumps into the back, but unfortunately for him, he gets tied back to Taz by the CC. But they will still be able to siege that turret down with no problems. Flicker burn from Dreon, though. 6-0. Six 6-0, zero. Six zero. they're looking for another one here. Pi goes in. And that's the Dino. Making the chomp, spitting him back out to the Eternal Guard, to the guns of Nino, too, and Kreit. With the Eternal Guard Slash, takes him out. He even saves the Eternal Guard. Look at him, so low. I mean, look. if you're Nino, where exactly is the danger, right? Rian and the rest of them are going to be uh, stuck using the spells for something else. Uh-oh, I'm offended. Dodged away from by the Battle Mirror Image. Bring him to the back as well, over under the turret. Dixon now diving into the midst of it all. But he has the Vengeance. What? Also with the Lycan Pop. Nino again with a Brave Smite. Brock with a Blazing New went onto the Battle Mirror Image and he plays beforehand. Wrecked. Flickering forward on the Angela, trying to get the last hit. An interesting flicker, but an entertaining one at that. It's wrecked. It's wrecked on the Angela. It's an aggressive Angela when he's the pilot behind it. And Anaya is taken down. 5v4. Drian goes in for something. Doesn't quite get it just yet, though. Yeah, they're brute forcing this. With what? Getting the Malefic War. He has damage. Is it enough damage? That is always the main question. And all three are very happy to just yeah. play this game all day. All night, dude. The macro is back. The macro that we didn't see yesterday, but now look at even Pi oh. going in. Eternal Guard onto Kaze and Dixon forcing a vengeance for the man who can withstand the damage from Nino. And he just walks in now with the help of Wreck with the hard guard as well. And the flask of the Oasis doing work. Kaze walking down Nino back with a Battle Mirror image. Wreck tying him up, looking for the final kill. Flickering forward. <laughs> Watt versus Wreck. Who's going to win it? It's Nino who takes it. No, it's right. <laughs> 10 and 0. Alter Ego and the Lord as well. A signature pick, and that's what you get. All across the board. Rack 208 so far. Gonna be able to take down this turret in the mid lane. And this is the Alter Ego. We want it. The chomp down, the spit out into the Eternal Garden to Nino's big guns. With the blazing new Edrion can only be offended now. Kays dove on in the fountain, forced to stay there. 11 and 0. Get wrecked! Alter Ego with a 2 to 0. And this was it. They tried to put highs in the gold lane to replace Nino. It didn't work. They had two more answers. Wrecked and Sally Boy.